The home garden, a place to grow, a place of beauty, a place to play, and a place where you may already see signs of our warming world. Global warming is projected to bring more droughts and floods and to benefit some pests and weeds, which will make gardening more challenging. At the same time, certain gardening practices can actually reduce your impact on the climate. The Union of Concerned Scientists is helping people all across the country adopt smart gardening practices that can reduce global warming emissions. And one way to do that is with composting, an easy climate-friendly way to recycle garden waste and food scraps and build healthy garden soil. In a moment, we'll give you a few home composting tips. But first, let's check out composting in action at Eden Place Nature Center in Chicago, which has an urban farm right in the middle of the city. This is our compost station where we actually teach home composting. Michael Howard, director and founder of Eden Place, created the Nature Center out of an illegal dump. He took us on a tour and showed us their compost system. And we have the earth machine system. We also have the three bin set, uh, system whereby we start compost here on this end. And once it's finished breaking down, it comes here. And this is what we use to fertilize everything at Eden Place. Nice, dark compost. They are composting um, fallen leaves and grass clippings and all kinds of other organic waste, including the manure from the chickens and rabbits. Those go into creating um, organic fertilizers um, and soil amendments that both keeps um, the greenhouse gases that all those organic wastes would produce if they went to a landfill out of the environment, but also um, takes the carbon in those wastes and puts it right back into the soil so that it's not going up into the atmosphere um, where it can cause global warming. Making your own compost is easy. Start with a composter or bin in the corner of your garden. Balance carbon-rich materials like dry leaves, straw, or wood chips with nitrogen-rich materials, fresh grass clippings from your yard, and plant-based food scraps from your kitchen. Combine these at a ratio of 25 to 1, so more dry leaves than apple peels. Make sure to turn the compost regularly using a pitchfork or small shovel. Then once it's broken down, use the finished compost as fertilizer, potting mix, or mulch. How can we combat this global warming? If we can teach people how to better compost their waste instead of putting it into landfills where we're producing all this methane gas, that's a better way. For more information about the benefits of composting and to take the Climate Friendly Garden Pledge, visit the Union of Concerned Scientists website at climatefriendlygarden.org today.